You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. Granted, it's down the road, but some scientists are wondering if a new pill I took might offer a very long life. It may not look like the fountain of youth, but inside this nondescript building, I'm about to become part of an exciting experiment. Dr. McCord, okay. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. It wouldn't be the first time I've given blood for this company. <laughs> they want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing bad for the body leading to disease leading to disease and leading to malfunction and importantly leading to what we call aging it is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress the problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy as our cells burn that food they also release toxic chemicals those chemicals you may know them as free radicals react with all the components of our cells literally bombarding them millions of times per second damaging all our cells the result oxidative stress and we all have it the body fights back with a system of defenses it makes two antioxidant enzymes catalase and SOD whose job is to gobble up the free radicals before they can harm our cells but as we get older, some of those toxic radicals overwhelm our enzymes and wreak their havoc. For a long time, scientists thought that antioxidant vitamins like C and E would lower it, but they don't. As it's turned out in just the last five years or so, we see that they're not good enough tools. They're not powerful enough. But this pill, he says, is powerful enough. In fact, many times more powerful. And so, here I go. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. It's called Protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. Right now, all we know is that this preparation decreases oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is not a disease, just like aging is not in itself a disease, but it's something that accompanies and is attached to, to many disease processes. So you can see the age-related... Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect, frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. Back to the oxidative stress levels of a child? It sounds too good to be true. Will Protandum work on me? The scientific evidence is there. The pieces seem to make sense. The question is, does this translate into something that humans can take advantage of? So just what's in this seemingly incredible pill? Well, actually, its roots are very humble. Protandum is a combination of five plant ingredients. Some you may know, green tea or turmeric, a spice used in Indian cooking. Others, with Thania somnifera and Silibum marianum, are more exotic. There's a huge human experience with each of these ingredients. Uh, they've been used often in traditional medicine in India and China and uh, many other cultures. In some cases, centuries and centuries. And so, ancient Eastern healing and modern Western medicine may soon be working together. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's 
at the very center of many diseases, liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? Alzheimer's disease, depression. Dr. James Crapo with the National Jewish Medical Center in Denver is also researching protandum for the company. We make no claims about curing any disease or preventing any disease. Uh, we hope that when enough studies are done, perhaps such claims might be able to be made in the future. Clinical studies to assess protandum in both diabetes and heart disease should start in three to four months. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Which, if extrapolated back, is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Have we turned back the clock? Well, maybe not on the outside, but deep inside, within my cells. Yes, indeed. For more, go to our website at abcnews.com.